Welcome back to Veggie Mike Ellis out there on the internet. Hello. Welcome back. Thanks for joining me. It's been a while. Today, I have a, I have a confession to make. Uh, yeah, I, I, it's time for me to make that video that you've probably seen before out there on the internet. Yeah, some friends, I was at some friend's house and I smelled this smell and this sizzling sound from the kitchen. What's that? Oh my goodness, is that bacon? Oh, oh, bacon. Oh, and I just, oh, I just, oh, how could I resist? Oh, it's just, ooh. But bacon though. But bacon, though, you know what I mean? Like, how could I stay vegan? How could I possibly stay vegan with bacon? There's bacon. You know, yeah. There's, is there vegan bacon out there? Yeah. But whatever t taste difference between vegan bacon and real bacon, whatever that is, whatever, whether distinguishable or not, but bacon, though. You know what I mean? You got to have bacon. I mean, yeah. Are, are, are we putting pigs in gas chambers to get bacon? Sure. Are they babies when they put them in there? Yes. Um, do they scream for a few minutes while the in, their insides, you know, like burn from the CO2 gas until they finally die? Yes. Um, but bacon tastes good. You know what I mean? It tastes so good. So, but bacon though, and plus I was thinking like, you know, but our ancestors though, you know what I mean? Our ancestors ate meat, you know what I mean? Like, of course they had to survive, you know, they didn't have a choice. Of course, we live in a modern society. You kind of think of these things because I've been vegan for almost six years. At least I was. Um, goodness. Uh, but our, you know, our ancestors, though, and plus, you know, lions kill, you know, animals in the wild. So, you know, lions, though. Um, now, of course, lions, you know, eat babies and, um, you know, take advantage, uh, let's say, uh, the males take advantage, so to speak, of the females and force themselves to do things on them uh, after killing their babies to dominate them. But we should live like lions, right? Like in civilized society, because that seems reasonable. So yeah, but lions though, you know what I mean? And plus cheese. I mean, oh my goodness, cheese. I mean, even though there's all kinds of vegan cheese, and I, if I made you vegan grilled cheese, you would, it would blow your mind. But you know, but cheese, though, you know what I mean? But cheese, though, even though they're taking babies away from their mothers and then sending them all to slaughterhouse anyway. Um, you know, but cheese, though, you know what I mean? Um, these all seem like really good, really solid, solid, solid stuff. Um, but protein, you know what I mean? But protein. Now, fine, you know, uh, you know the, uh, the nutrition for uh, American Dietetic Association they're the, like the lar largest group of dietitians in the world, but you know, it's actually changed their name to the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, but they, um, they, you know, they're the largest group of dietitians in the world. And according to them, you know, you can be totally healthy on a vegan diet, but, but protein though, you know what I mean? Even though you can get all nine essential amino acids and hemp seeds. Yeah, but come on, you got to have burgers though. You know what I mean? I mean, burgers though. Even though Impossible and Beyond Burgers taste just like real beef. Yeah, but so? I like the idea of dead bodies. You know what I mean? Like, I want a dead body on my plate, you know? Everything goes better with a dead body. You know what I mean? Like, you got to have your dead bodies and secretions. And, you know, what about vaginal discharge from a chicken's ass? You know what I mean? Like, you have to have your vaginal discharge. Um... Your menstrual periods from a chicken's ass is always important in, in your daily, you know, it's important to have that while they put babies in grinders. I mean, you know, I understand that they're putting the male chicks in grinders. Um, and I wondered, you know, would I turn on the grinding machine myself if I had to do that just to eat eggs? Would you? Would you turn that grinder machine on yourself and hit the button just so you could have eggs? Would you do that? Because, you know, that's what we're doing. We're paying for them to do that But when we eat eggs. But, you know... But eggs, though, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I can't be vegan anymore. Like, what was I thinking? You know what I mean? I mean, why would I think that animals have any moral value? I and mean, plants and animals have the same moral value, but plant pain. You know what I mean? I mean, watch. I'm out here in a field. Look at this. I mean, there's plants. This is grass right here. I mean, look at this grass. Look, look, watch this. Ah! 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 
right? I mean, plants feel pain. You know what I mean? They have central nervous systems and brains to process pain. Oh, wait, they know they don't, do they? Oh, crap. Um, and do plants and animals have the same moral value? Because if you mow a lawn, is that the same thing as running a dog over with a mower? Huh. Well, you would have the same emotional response to both of those things, right? Because that's a reasonable thing to say. Yeah. But sarcasm, though. I know sarcasm is not, you know, really well understood anymore. I don't know what happened, but there's all these people that, like, don't understand sarcasm anymore. I don't know what, I don't know what happened, but um, this, this video has been incredibly sarcastic. Um, no, I would never quit being vegan. That's, I mean, and any, if any of those wonderful excuses, I mean, reasons mean anything to you. And, oh, and what about culture? Oh, my God. You know, dogfighting rings are part of culture, too, and cockfighting rings and bullfighting rings, and they're part of culture all over the world. And, uh, you know, female uh, mutilation, you know, where they cut out their, you know, their fun parts down there. And 2% of the girls actually die from that process. But that's part of people's culture, too, uh, female circumcision. So, you know, that's reasonable. Culture's reasonable excuse. I mean, re uh, excuse me, not excuse. Reason why we shouldn't go, we should go vegan. I mean, it's part of our culture to eat meat, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. So thanks for joining me, and, uh, yeah, go vegan, because enough with the excuses. You know what I mean? Just think about it for a sec, you know? Are you really just making excuses? Really? Think about it. You know? Come on. Just watch some documentaries, watch some slaughterhouse footage, and if you can't watch the slaughterhouse footage, yeah, why would you feel like it's okay to cause something to happen that you can't watch yourself? Yeah, you might want to think about that one. Oh, and bring the children to the slaughterhouse for some uh, wonderful visits. Oh, that would be nice, because it's so natural and so not wrong that we can show it to the children, right? Oh, oh, yeah, go vegan. Thanks for watching.